while she was reading it. Put those. To what? To France? Does. I'd like to start the governance meeting. Sorry, we were late ending our last meeting, so we had to take a little break. Um, everybody's here on the committee. Uh, do we have anybody for courtesy of the floor? I'm seeing no one. Uh, tonight, we need to have a governance committee meeting because we need to discuss the redistricting of Northampton County. We have a year from the date of the census being um, completed, and we, even though we didn't receive the final numbers until September, it was completed effective December of 2020. So we need to make this decision before the end of the year. So in the interest of time, I wanted to have this discussion tonight so we had at least three meetings before we have to produce an ordinance um, making any amendments, and I do believe because of the population change that we do, we can't, I don't believe we're allowed to let it stand as it is. So um, what we've done in preparation for this, um, and Aileen has been uh, essential in this, has looked at the original map as it is. Um, you should have six alternatives along with the um, original as we stand now. And so what we need to do is look at these alternatives and make a decision as to which one or two we may like and then, you know,
present that as an ordinance to the county mm -hmm. going forward. So I don't know if everyone's had a chance to look over them or if Aileen, I mean, I know you're doing double duty here tonight. Um, do you wanna say anything as to how you did some of this configuring since you're at the heart of this? Well, the <clears throat> sorry, the basics are that this has to be based on population alone. And so we're sort of constrained by that. The d districts had to have to be contiguous, which means they can't be separated from each other. You technically are permitted to split municipal boundaries. I know it's not exactly in favor and a court may not like it too much. So we did provide one version that has a sliced municipality, but uh, for the rest of them, we went strictly on the population and tried to balance it uh, more or less every different mathematical way we could. And I guess the goal is that they all have to have some as reasonable equality in all the alternatives as possible. Mr. Hector. Yeah, I reviewed them and I just wanna say, uh, and we have our solicitor who's like vital in this, this, this kind of a, a situation. Um, I think when we talk about what we have to do and constrain, Ultimately, at the end of the day, the judge will decide whether, whether it was appropriate or not. I don't think we need to be right on with the numbers. I know I'll, I'm not talking about lawyers. I'm talking to our lawyer now, and it's ultimately a judge who will make that call, whether it was appropriate or not. I think, yes, contiguous is important. I do believe, though, that we have an obligation to the voters uh, in the sense that First, I agree, I wouldn't cut up a municipality because of school districts, I'm, I'm totally against that. The other thing is, I think also for people who live where they live, uh, I, I think you have to take in the culture of the area and what's appropriate and what's not. I frankly don't see much of a difference with where we're at right now. I mean, the difference I see is 76,800 uh, roughly in District 1 and the highest is roughly 80,000 80, in District 3, if you don't do anything at all. I don't know a judge that would say, well, that's so out of bounds, you can't do anything. People know where they go now, they know where they vote. District 1 has Hanover, which has traditionally always been part of Bethlehem in the sense of water, sewer, people. It's a Bethlehem site. Uh, Hellertown was added to one, it was in three at one time. But I mean, you know, as you get down, Lower Saucon has more in common with Williams and Bethlehem. And uh, some of the, the things I saw cut District 4 in half. I think that really creates havoc for District 2. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm proposing myself that I don't see any reason why it can't stay the way it is. That, that's my, my position on it. Hmm. Yeah. First off, let me uh, indicate the strong work of our staff in getting this together. Um, I would weigh in with the following. I would strongly recommend that you do not go outside of municipal boundaries and break a municipality, number one. And the reason for that is, is I think echoing Mr. Heckman's comments, that that would give a judge one less shot at saying this isn't right. The second thing is, is that it must be contiguous. There's no, there's no uh, non-clarity with that. That is a requirement. And the third thing is, is that they don't need to be arithmetically equal. They need to be substantially similar. And I don't know what that means, but it means close. You don't have to have 7,942 people in District 1 and the same number in the other three. What you need to do is have a substantially similar number so you do not dilute, dilute the vote. So I think that being said, I think council's on a good path here in, in the considerations that Aileen's put together for your consideration. Hmm. Okay. I, mean, I would agree. I mean, the numbers, what she did, I mean, she did a very good mathematical job of doing the best she could to make the numbers match. And my position isn't on that at all. My position is just, I think there's a cultural element to this and a community element to this that council should take into account as you said contiguous we're not the feds we're not going to make a dragon head type of districts here so i mean uh that's why i said i look at this and i'm thinking okay well could we push this here or could we push that there and i'm thinking why i mean for example i i get there was a flip of hanover and lower Saucon, and i'm thinking well, why they're substantially the same amount of people 
why would you put Hanover in District 3 and Saucon in District 1? I mean, if you leave it exactly the way it is, you solve a lot of problems. You don't, you're creating a solution for a problem that doesn't exist, and you're creating a problem for Hanover, who now is in a new district, and Saucon, who somehow is pushed up into District 1. I, Hanover, like I said, has a lot more in common with Bethlehem than Lower Saucon. So uh, that's where I was coming from. All right, well, let me just say, and I see Mr. Rinsky, then I would suggest if everyone's in agreement with most, what Mr. Heckman and Mr. Spazzoni said to take out alternative two, because then we could just eliminate that since that's the one where they split lower sock and precinct. So we could just eliminate a choice if everyone's amenable to that. Okay. Alternate, two. alternate two is out. Is this just for the committee or all of? Well, well, everybody. Well, I think Mr. Lott's on the phone too, right? Is he there? He lives there too. Um, just to speak to what Mr. Heckman no, said. No, he doesn't live there. Yeah. Well, I live in Lower Sauk, and he lives in Hellertown, okay. and one of the hopes was that we would combine some school districts. And when I looked at this, and I've been in the county, um, I've seen that there's, you know, like the Nazareths are split, and they're all a, co a community, and Lower Sauk and Hellertown was split. So if you look at Alternative 5, that rectifies that. So the only reason to swap um, Hanover with Saucon is because it puts the school district back together. Otherwise, you're taking Hellertown out again and you're putting that back in District 3 and that, you know, mm -hmm. makes District 3 top-heavy. So that was the rationale yeah. for doing so. I mean, so. you take Hanover at, out of the Bethlehem School District, which is it, and you put it up in East Allen, which has nothing yeah, but, to do with it. But it's contiguous. What, 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 I mean, what is it you're trying to achieve? Contiguous, Hanover's contiguous with Bethlehem. Lower Saucon's contiguous with Williams. It's contiguous with Lower Nazareth Township. So again, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to figure out why we need to do any dramatic changes whatsoever. I, I don't think the population centers are that widely dispersed. As I really studied this, I thought we are getting into cutting up four into two sections. I mean, I, I, it, it just boggled my mind after all my years I thought we're, we're doing major surgery on a toenail uh, issue. I mean, I, I don't get it. I, what would be the reason to take Hanover and put it in three, who has substantially the same population as Lower Saucon, and, and put that in one? Because you because be, of Hellertown. I said it, because you'd be combining the school district rather than splitting a school district. Whereas you're not going to ever get everybody in Bethlehem School District together because that population is No, but then you're splitting you're for the sake of... So you're saying Lower Saucon deserves more consideration than Hanover? No, I'm saying that Lower Saucon and Hellertown. In, in well, then take opinion, Hellertown and put it back. I was in speaking. Three. I was speaking. I, I let you speak. My point is that they deserve to be together, as well as the Nazareth, as well as everybody else. One of the models was taking Lower Saucon and slicing it up. We we can't help where people have chosen to move in this county. We're just looking at this and trying to make some reasonable changes and so by aligning communities and helping with that that these are just options we don't have to but then hellertown and lower sock and stay split you know and then well they're two separate communities well i don't think williams township belongs in um district one i think it, it's a more affinity with easton and wilson because it's a school district issue but mr Sarinsky wanted to say something yeah, so um as a hanover resident yeah as a <laughs> hanover resident i know how close the school districts are in hanover and bethlehem um, in the neighborhood that I used to live in, my uh, my child would be going would be in a different district if uh, Hannah like he would have gone to Spring Garden rather than um, Asa Cocker, and that would have been in Bethlehem City. That would have been in a different voting district, and they're like right across the street from each other. So I I, I see the the need to keep the districts together, but more than just that. I think that when you're looking at the different kinds of communities, Hanover and Bethlehem City are more similar. Um, Nazareth, Allen, Bath, Na Bushkill, though more townships, those are very similar insofar as they're pretty rural and they have some pretty similar interests. And then you have, the, the only thing that I see is that Forks and Palmer and Wilson are not together in alternative number four, which I thought actually worked pretty well, because uh, I think Forks is Easton School District as well. Forks and Palmer are at Easton. And Wilson is Wilson School Wilson District, so Wil that's his Wilson own. Wilson and Williams Township are one. So Wilson and Williams Township, then 
Bethlehem Township is also Bethlehem Area School District. But Bethlehem Township, Palmer, Williams, and Saucon have other similar interests as well because they're basically suburbs. Um, I do want to say, though, that I really respect the amount of work that went into cutting these districts apart and trying to make the numbers work. I did feel that Alternative 4 was um, an example of the, of the numbers really working. We all know that the census was pretty botched anyway, and that the, this doesn't mean anything. I mean, I don't know when the state districts are coming out, but they're working off the same census as, as us. So I don't know if we, if we are obligated to make a decision whether or not we have to use exactly one of these models or if we can trade out different municipalities knowing how many people are on, in them because we have all the charts. Can we do that? Uh, I would say that if we had the technology to move maps around and do that, we could, but the, I, I think the point of her doing all this work was to show us the different options. And if you could sit here and say, I like this option, but I'd like to swap this for this, I think that would be a reasonable suggestion. Yeah, well, I do like uh, alternative number four. I don't know which one this is. Oh. It's a, uh, I don't know, it's labeled alternative Alternate number four. Yeah. Is there any that I like alternative five? Is there any that anybody else would like to throw out or advocate for? Uh, I'm, I'm going to advocate. <laughs> you go pound. I'm not going for four or five. It totally destroys Easton. It's taken the strength of Easton and the people of Easton, and now whoever's got to go that way is now I'm the guy. I got to take myself to North Parkland, all the way up to Bangor, Rosetta, Washington Township. My, the people I deal with are the inner city people in all of the East Area School District. We're cutting up half of Tom's district to send an Eastern guy up there because the numbers work that way. We're, t and if I was to look at it from the, from the point of R's and D's, we just made District 2 a very strong R. We are not looking at ours. I don't care what you're saying. What I'm saying is realistic. You're taking Easton, which is a strong area of minorities. And now they got a battle, folks, 25 miles away, who have two different agendas. Their rule, we're urban. The numbers may work, but the representation doesn't work. Why are we battling? That's my point. Four and five does not work for me at all because all of a sudden, as the, as the number two representative, this is crap. What works? I'm being sent to the lions. Well, it, I, I think it's not personal. I'm taking it personal. Well, I would ask you to not do so, and I would ask you to not, we're not here to battle. We're here to make some educated decisions, well, and I, I, won't be I can for hear any what of that. you say. Um, I will not be voting for any of that. But there are several maps on here that There's keep, six of them. Yeah, but there's and several I, maps that keep Forks, Easton, Palmer all together. Do any of Adam, those work for you? Um, yeah. Kevin, is that you? Kevin? Yes. When, when Terry's done, I'd like to chime oh, in. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Okay. Um, I, I heard the Madam Chairman ask if we had any preferences. Um, I have a strong preference to leave it the way it is. I would like to hear more from the solicitor. I think it would stand the way it is. It's worked for 10 years. It was actually put in play by the other party. The numbers aren't that drastically different. And I don't know if that's the key thing you want to look at. You want to look at the character of the area. That being said, number one is the, the one, I, if I had to pick one of them out of those, that was the one I feel that kind of keeps everybody together a little bit better geographically. And but I really think the way it's laid out now is better. Lower Socket and Williams Township are more of a rural area. Hellertown is more of an urban area like Bethlehem. I think the way it's split up now is doable. I mean, if you have to get the numbers a little closer, tweak it. Just one move, one municipality. But I don't I think every time you make a move, you create more problems. This has been in play for 10 years. 
I don't think the numbers are that skewed. I would like to hear from the solicitor if he thinks that we would get thrown out if we kept this map in play. Thank you. Would it be original? Wait, the solicitor. The question is my opinion of whether if we left it alone, it would be thrown out? Yes. Yes. I think if the consideration of counsel is pursuant to the Home Rule Charter, that we would be successful in defending that. Now, can I guarantee that? The answer is no. However, I, recognizing the concerns of council as to the contiguous area, the non-breakup of municipal boundaries, and substantially similar population counts, you would be successful. Yes, Aileen. Thank you. If I could just emphasize something, the only thing that we are permitted to take into consideration is population number. Uh, we worked this every way we could possibly think Excuse of. We me. tried She's to speaking. do it. Excuse me. Carrie and Tara. I'm listening. Please. I'm, I'm listening. We tried to do it by school district. We sort of took all of these things into account, but the fact is that things like culture, rural, that's not what is required by the charter. The charter requires a straight population study. I just want to make that clear. But the charter does not exclude consideration of those factors by council members. No. no. All right. No, I'm just saying, it, you're given it, permission, but you're not being told you can't do it. You're saying, use numbers, but council, if that were the case, we'd use a computer. The point is, contiguous culture, relatively state. I always have gone by with almost everything. The least you should do is no harm. And, and, and so that's why I guess I looked at everything and I went, oh my gosh, wait a minute. Oh my gosh, I guess one would be, but again, you're taking Hanover. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm just said I won't say anymore because I've already expressed my opinion and I think he, Tom wants to talk and he should. Uh, I'm, I'm for <laughs> leaving it alone. Four and five, definitely. Doesn't work for me, like Carrie. I'm with Carrie. That's really cutting up my district. Uh, um, so I don't really go for those plans at all. Um, okay. I I would agree not to change anything. Again, I think it's fine the way it is. Okay. So that would leave me with alternative three, one, and six on the table or no change. Do you want to weigh in on this? Whoa. Mr. McKee? What were they again? Three, three, one, and three one, and six alternatives are number one, number three, and number six are left on the table. Or the option to not do anything. Somebody said they didn't like two, so I, that's the one that yeah, was the no. district was split. Mm -hmm. Not number two. I'm looking at alternate. Alternate two has lower sock and split. Oh, you don't like that one because that has lower sock and has on split. Is that really well, and we said that would be the most likely to be seen by a judge. Mm -hmm. mm. And I don't. I know I don't like because I, already I, I don't. I I'm a lower sock and resident. I don't. I think they're the outlier all the time. Mm -hmm. Can I jump in here just a second? I want to be clear that I've heard this phrase, do nothing. Yes. My position would be, and my advice would be, is if you do nothing, you would reenact what you have now. Right. So that would it's it's not just not, just say, well, let it go. No, 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 I know what you're saying, because we have to vote on you it. You have to, but, yes. But, 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 no, and I, I, I'm just, I guess I'm speaking too colloquial because it's my fellow That's I always think at committee meetings that that's where you talk, if there's nothing official happens here other than... It's my language. I'm a street dog. Well, Everybody knows that. Hey, that's why we pay you the handsome something to do. So one, three, and six. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. One, three, and six. Let me look at these. One, three, and six. 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 One, and three, and six. One, 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 three, and six
And it takes the Hanover out. Be, it and it takes what? Two. Hanover out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Three. Oh, and just to say that Mr. Cusick's not here because he's with the NJEA. Um, uh, it's the teachers' convention this week, and oh. his comment to me was, "Do what you want, cut it any way you want." So that's his vote. Mm -hmm. so not running for but again, like I, we we keep saying that, and I appreciate that everybody here has that semi-vested interest. But if we could remove that as consideration, we're supposed to be thinking about people who don't run for office and just live together, so. Right. I agree. So, so what about so, alternative three? Because that seems to keep Eastland together. And even though Han Hanover then moves outside of Bethlehem City, Hanover and Bethlehem Township are both Bethlehem School District. Um, that does kind of keep Lower Nazareth School District together, but then also includes um, like Plainfield and that school district up there. Well, yeah, you know, Northampton School District. North Cam Northampton School District. And you're knocking more when the biggest township is probably Northampton. I mean, I, that's the problem if you worry about school districts. What do you, wait, 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 wait. Let her, what did you say? Well, I think it might be impossible to keep all the school districts together. So I think we just have to pick a map if we're going to, that works with the populations that we want to keep together. People with similar interests, similar dynamics maybe, that might not be what we're doing here, we just need numbers, but if the numbers work for three, that appeases uh, Mr. Myers. I don't know how you feel about the uh, taking out Walnut Port or Lehigh Township from the Slate Belt. But I don't see why um, it seems really difficult. Okay. Two will be better option yeah, for me. Miss, but we already Mr. Threw that Mr. Out. Pack Pinky wants a point of clarification. So we're not voting on this tonight. No, this is a discussion because then the next process right. is to create an ordinance. I feel a lot more comfortable now. <laughs> okay, it's good to hear the debate. This Thanks. is the time to just have the discussion. We'll be voting on it this year, but uh, have a little bit more time to digest all the information that I've been hearing from the other committee members. Yeah. Yeah. Thank council you. members here. I think Mr. Giovanni wanted to speak. Mr. Giovanni, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I said that alternative two works better for me than number three because that goes down to lower Nazareth right you know it's but what if in that alternative three you kept Walnut Port and Lehigh and swapped it for the Nazareth for lower Nazareth yeah that'd be fine with me all three of this sounds like a game of like risk or something but it is like what, what are you doing I'm taking low, uh, number three alternative. We're taking Lower Nazareth and swapping it for Walnut Port and Lehigh Township. So Walnut Port. Lower Nazareth Speak. goes to where? Wait, wait, wait. Aileen's going to clarify because, again, she's played with the math. She's playing with the Walnut Port. Port yeah, Walnut Port, Port and North Caddy have about double hold on. what it is that you're trying to move. Okay, hold on. So this is Walnut Port. Lower Nazareth is only 6,900 so, people. Here's here's the the trouble spots that I trouble spots not Lower Saucon, Williams Township, and Hanover have decent sized populations that if you put them with their alliances create too much. Like I believe that w Williams belongs in District Two with Wilson. Well, Williams and Wilson begin to become together. They're a school district. They're contiguous and they belong together, but. It makes District 2 too large. You're huh. looking at me like I'm crazy. Williams and Wilson are a school district. Yeah. Lower Socket and Hellertown, I'm looking but at But why are we basing everything yeah. on the school district? Because that's part of an alliance as well. These are You're talking about communities. People whose kids go to school together are communities as well as rural and urban. You know, Forks, Palmer, and East, they go to school together. We all, you know, it's how you look at a community. But the, the population centers are too large to make it work in any kind of way. The, the Nazareths all go to school together, but there's other districts that go to school in Nazareth. 
So the way it is right now, Upper Nazareth is in four and Lower and Nazareth are together. The Nazareths could be together. It, it, like my point in looking at this is where do communities fit together and how do you do that and make it fit population wise? Right. Yeah, excuse me, but Upper Nazareth also goes to Bushkill. Right. So, so if you took Walnut Court and Lehigh Township, Walnut Court has 2,057, Lehigh Township has 10,774. That's roughly like 12, 12 to 13,000 people. You take Lower Nazareth and Nazareth, and that's roughly 13,000 people. Mm -hmm. That's a good swap. Yeah, I'm fine with that. That puts it back kind of where it was. That just swaps it right back to how it currently is. What's up? Drunk. Well, then I think we just figured Except out. Except on that alternative three, then you took Williams out of three and you put it in district one. That's the only change. Well, then it's not that, and, and I, I, then it's not that different. I mean, then it's not that similar. I can't hear you. I'm sorry. Say that again, please. I'm just looking. Because then it takes, it separates the Nazareth's upper and lower. Yeah, but and again, if it doesn't matter, because they're aligned with Bushkill. If I may? Yes, sir. I did read through the math, and if I'm wrong, I'm, you know, correct me. If we leave it the way it is, that District 1 will end up with around 77, 76,799. Two will end up with 78,509. Three ends up with 80,000. Four ends up with 77,290. I mean, I'm not seeing the substantial difference between any of those districts with population. So that's why I've said, I don't think there's a mad rush that, oh my God, we have to change something other than somebody may wanna be in a different district. Uh, because I mean, I, some of these things, I'm just talking from my own experience. It just seems like we're taking one chess piece and another chess piece of equal value and we're switching them for the mm -hmm. sake of switching them. And, and, and that's some of the things I, I won't agree with. I mean, but I just wanted to point that out. I don't think as it is now when I wrote the, and also who's gonna be building? I mean, Hanover's continually jamming more houses in, so I wouldn't worry so much about the 77 or the lower in one, because that's gonna be made up in what's left of Southside Bethlehem and Hanover. Um, I don't know Saucon, Lower Saucon. I mean, they're pretty strict down there. I know the, the Saucon Club, the old steel states down there. <laughs> they, they've, they've put their restrictions in pretty strongly. They're not going to do. There's going to be a lot of building in Lower Saucon. Well, it might be close to Hellertown, but areas that they've been sure. So I, I don't know. I mean, there's this rush to put Lower Saucon in Bethlehem, and I don't, at District One, and I don't get it. I just don't. No, no. Because Lower Saucon has really nothing to do with anybody else in District Three, except that we're a, a slim border on Williams Township side. Well, you'd. It's you'd, always been a, you know, it's just like. So that's it's your like opinion. the what's left. That's your opinion. I mean, you could go to any community. That is my there. opinion. Yes. All right, and that's you could. They'd say, Palmer, why are you cutting me off from forts? I have more in common with, you know, and, and so on and so forth. I mean, I think our job is to, again, for me, do the less, the least amount of juggling possible. But but you know, I I've, I've said that enough already. May, may I? I agree. Uh, yes, sir. May I rec be recognized? Yes, and then Mr. Giovanni. Oh, um, what, what of these plans look like the plan before they switched it 10 years ago? Oh. Uh, I understand that, and we have some time. <laughs> but that I wanna, if you were to do, I think you did all your due yeah, diligence. You but, no, I think but it's Town, probably in the archives. I mean, it's probably- one time Hellertown yeah. was Hellertown in was District, District 3. But I mean, it's, I'm sure the old map is available somewhere. It's yeah. already... Somebody was here 10 years ago who could answer that question. I was trying to keep you out of it, but since you were here. Well, since I, you know, I heard a little bit of tonight about the late presentation of documents, and so I've been actually seeing your maps. So, and although it's going to be an ordinance, you may be interested in what I think about your maps. But um, with that being said, the um, only changes were Williams, was taken out of two and put into three, and Freemansburg was taken out of three and put into one. I have very specific ideas about why that was done, 
but that's that's not a matter of record. That would just be my speculation. And sir, Hellertown was still in one the yes. whole time, and Hellertown and Lower Saucon were split the whole time. Uh, Lower Saucon was in three, and Hellertown was in one. Yes. Okay. While I was here. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Now, it was different before I got here. Yes. Many moons ago. When Mr. But, Seyfried was here, he said how he he he, he, he Hellertown was in three at that point. Okay, from the ninety so, yeah, from nineteen ninety yeah, yeah, to yeah. two thousand. Yes, that's my understanding of the history of it. Thank you for the clarification. You're welcome. And and that was one of the things always on my mind when we started thinking about this is, where were we ten years ago? And I think that should weigh into some of our decision. But that's all. Thank you. Where's Freemansburg now? Right now it's in one. Freemansburg is in one now. Which is the which one is, is what we're doing now? Which of these all uh, you should have one that uh, has 2010, 2020, and the difference. Okay. Mm -hmm. It looks like this. Okay. That's where we're at now. That's not possible. Because District 2. Yes. Mm -hmm. Look at the next page. The next page is a map. It's a little bit smaller. That's the current configuration. That's to say that the big one we have. Is yeah, yes. but if you look at District 2 in the green and what's here in print. There were that got sent out, so that might be why. Because I'm sitting there looking at it going, I, I did not have he to go to Northampton, North Caddy, Allen Township, East Allen. I have what you have here, Eastern Force, Stocker Town. Yes. So this here you is not accurate. Yeah, you can disregard that page specifically. Okay. All right. Now I got you. Huh. I have another question. From, from the point Mid that there's a point of order that the uh, president is stating, because, yes, Williams Township and Wilson in one school district, so is Glendon. They're all in Williams. They're all, from, they're all in Wilson. Those are, those are errors. And West Easton. So would anyone want to put Wils Williams back in District 2? That's going to blow up. I mean, it's, it, District 2 enormous, right? You add 6,000 yeah. more people to it. What's yeah. going to keep that up to? 84,000. 84,000. That blows it out of proportion. Am I right or wrong? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much. And even if you took Stocker Town and, 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 and Academy, that's not even going to put a dent in it. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, that's an interesting comment. <laughs> what do you say? I said it depends on if I have the floor. It depends on how many warehouses they stick in there first. Well, I know one big warehouse going to 13th Street East, and I don't know where the rest of it is going. Well, may I have the floor one more yes, time, sir. and then I'll stop. No, uh, Mr. Heckman, or, this, or Mr. Anyone, uh, what was the reasoning behind changing it 10 years ago? Was it the numbers? Was it the school district? Does anybody have recollection? Well, I, would, I would say they probably had a similar discussion to what we had. I mean, I think Mr. Uh, it's a shame he was, Mr. McClure was on council. But I mean, look, at the back of everybody's mind, when it comes to district redistricting, I mean, we have a reporter here, let's be honest, that people are looking at the political landscape as well. And I'll say that's not important. We're not considering it formally. OK. Having said that formally, if, again, yeah, people are going to look at, for example, where's Mr. Giovanni now? He's on council. Where's Mr. You know, uh, Myers now? He's on council. And, and they're going to look at that. That's why I said the numbers mean are important. And Eileen was absolutely correct about the numbers. I, I have no fault with that. But I believe council does have discretion in the eyes of the court, which we can see, to argue pretty much anything as long as it's not crazy. I mean, if it's within reason, isn't that the basis of law? What would a reasonable person do in a state situation? Anyway, 
Uh, that, that's what happens with armchair lawyers. But no, the thing is, um, yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I, I, we can change things around, but if you go back, Todd, I, I can't speak for what the motives were for people at the end. I think they were trying to keep things yeah. pretty hmm, straightforward. Wait, please, he's talking. Where are there? No, I'm, no I'm, I'm finished, Malloy. I mean, I'm, I'm finished. Gotcha. So does anybody want to advocate for any of the alternatives on the table? I guess the choice is an alternative that's on the table versus no change. My question would be, what's the one that's closest to 10 years ago? Well, the original. The original. Okay. Um, Aileen, what's the difference with alternative six? Oh, I see. It puts lower socket in district two. Yes. That's the only change between that and the current configuration. Is that correct? And it moves Bath into district three. Mm -hmm. We literally have prevented every mathematical <laughs> situation that we found. Soccer Town moved over to four. Madam Chairman, I think this alternative two is probably the closest, but that's where you're carving part of Lower Sauk and out and bumping it up into Bethlehem. I don't know why that specific, those specific zip codes were used. Contiguity. Huh? Well, but everything's contiguous. You could have gone up in that other corner and cut something out. I mean, I, I just don't, that's the only thing. I mean, that, that doesn't make any sense to me why that would have been cut out, that part of Lower Saucon. Because that would really look like, if somebody's living there, the courts would say, wait a minute, why are you chunking a little bit out and jamming it up into one? And we, we actually reviewed it um, looking at the shape of Bethlehem yeah. and figured out ju just taking an area from Bethlehem that was already sort of within the shape that it had there. And we just looked at um, population for certain districts and it happened to work with those two. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I just don't, lower suck. I mean, you're saying to people arbitrarily, okay, you're no longer going to vote in this district. You're going to vote with Bethlehem uh, based on what we figured with numbers. We're already chunked up enough in the oh, state district. I don't think we should do it more. That's my feeling about that. It doesn't matter. I'm like right here at the very, very bottom. You see that tip right at the very that's me, so I'm going nowhere. I'm right down here. So, I don't know, I just, my, like I said, my motive was to try to get school districts more aligned and, uh, and numbers equal. But if everybody thinks of the way it is is what they want to keep, then that's, well, I defer to the majority. And, and honestly, to be honest, I'd like to hear, like, of the alternatives, Mr. Uh, Myers, I heard, advocated against a couple that he thought were bad. As far as the alternatives, I'd like to hear what if somebody has a strong preference for one of them to like tell me which one. I, I'd like to hear your motivation if you'd like to change it. I mean, you know, other than I get the numbers, but I mean, if some, I, I, it's like, what's, what's, what would be the motivation? Why, why, why would you advocate for, let's say, alternative two or alternative three? Well, I wouldn't. I that's. I said I don't like two because it splits lower socket. Although that right. mathematically is the most correct. Like I wouldn't do that. So if you took that lower socket and chunk out and put it where it is, I think we're pretty close to exactly what we have. Correct. Mm -hmm. no. What alternative six? Alternate two. If you took those two pieces of lower socket, you're, back you're out, taking bath yeah. away from district four in alternative two. Oh, yeah. You are? Mm hmm And where is it? It's with East Allen. I have Bath right now. No, and if you look at alternative two, Bath is in District 4. Uh, not to mind, is not it? Mind. Yes, no. alternative if you look two. at how it is, yeah, I see what you're saying. Here's Bath. Alternative two is the one where lower stock and a split that I asked you to, no. t to take it away. I'm looking at the map. Oh, look on the... the <laughs> <laughs> if you look at the... Look at the numbers? The, it's at the bottom. Yeah. So basically, if you take lower socket out of alternative two, it becomes, I think, what we already have existing, correct? I think you're right. I think you're right. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I'd be, I would be yeah, proud okay. if I moved back to Bath and build a mansion on a hill to have Mr. Giovanni represent me. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't I do it? This, Mr. Giovanni, do you have a preference for an alternative, or would you like no change? I like no change. Okay. Mr. McGee? I'm not going to comment yet. I'd like to know why they changed it for, in the first place 10 years ago. Okay. I really think that answer needs to be, um, a question needs to be answered. Very good. Um, well, I, we can look at the minutes in November of uh, 2010, right, or the governance committee or whatever. So. Right. J just so you're aware, there was in 2010, it looks like there was a very large population jump in I want to say district, it was either two or three, but one of them jumped up to 90,000, and so that's why they had that to make might have spot it. That, that was, that was but these, these are incorrect because there's townships the missing on this yeah, one. That was, that's a copy paste error. If okay. you look at this column, those are all the correct numbers from 2010. All right, so, so that's. That one was at 90,000. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. No, it's district two. That was two. two. Just because there's so much to go. Mr. Heckman, what's your preference? An alternative or no change? Well, I mean, I would say no change, but if, you, if, so, if we want an alternative and you would take out that little chunk of lower stock and, and le uh, lower stock in front of two and leave it in three, then I'd say alternative two because I think that's basically what we have now, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. All right, well, then I guess I'd say no change. Thank you. Mr. Meyer. I'm trying to figure it out as I'm looking here. Mr. Lott, are you still there or is it? Yes, I am. Do you have a thought? Um, at this point in time, at the discussions, I'm, I'm leaning toward leave it the same until some, I see a better map that makes more sense to me. Okay. Mr. Meyer. I would, I would prefer to leave it the way it is but if i had to go to an alternative i i would look at two but in the same breath we're not keeping all school districts as that's a priority Ms. Zerinsky. um if i don't have to make a decision today i don't want to make a decision today i'm so sorry i can't hear you i do not have a preference at this time i would like to look at the maps a little bit more knowing now what everybody else has discussed and uh, just sit with it. So right now we have one, two, three, four votes for no change, five votes for no change, two no preference, and I'm abstaining. And that's okay. Because I have a preference, but I'm going to be outvoted. I, I would like to move lower socket, but I could live with no change, so I'm fine. But we're, we didn't just vote. No. Mm -mm. No, but I'm saying that's where we stand right now. That's kind of, there's people saying no change. So I guess, what do I have to do time-wise about this? Because we have to take a vote on this, and we have a timing issue by getting this done by the end of the year, correct? We have a requirement to do something by the end of the year, and it needs to be done by ordinance. So you need at least two meetings to do yeah, it. Right. So there will be an introduction and an action. Yeah. So when and how do we, if we don't have a decision tonight, I don't think you can have a decision tonight. So if I introduce it as an ordinance and we have a discussion and people disagree with the ordinance as it's written, it could be managed in the discussion portion. Is that correct? Yeah. I don't I don't know where I'm gonna put another governance it's meeting. Not, can I have a ask a question? Wait, Mr. No. Spadoni. Mr. Hacking, please. Oh no, I was gonna say it has happened in past councils, whether council wants to or not. We've done the December thing because of the budget and because if there's a veto, we have time to schedule another meeting. That's why people always say, oh, you guys scheduled it that way so you'd have Christmas. I said, no, it's, it's scheduled that way for a reason. We could theoretically call a special council meeting as long as we put out the requisite time frame and have, and if you ran out of time, and have a meeting later in December, as long as it's X amount of time from that, that second meeting that's already scheduled. That was what I was asking. We can have a special clerk. Our clerk will probably not like what I have to say, <laughs> but what one avenue that you could follow is to have the ordinance 
and if it's not exactly what you want, you can amend the ordinance the night that it's scheduled to be voted upon. Now that's a, that's a process that I would not endorse all time. However, given the time constraints, it may be a way to get it done without a special meeting. And it may be, it may be presented in a form that it can get five votes. I'm being advised that we cannot introduce it on the second because we do not have enough time notice between the second and the ninth. So what? I would have to do a special meeting. If you do one, you're not, you're gonna, I'm not gonna be there to vote. So I'm not gonna be here. So you could do a special meeting after the ninth. Okay. Madam Chair. Presented it at the 18th. Don't we have a meeting in, in at the 18th? We do. It's presented then? Well, that's what I was suggesting. Present it. People can have further discussion on it. Agree, disagree, amend, and it gives us two meetings to make it correct. And that gives you two weeks to review the map, to make some decisions. Everybody else will hopefully be present at that time. And it could be a matter of regular business on the 18th. Yes, sir. Um, since it's an ordinance and the executive correctly pointed out, he's going to have a say whether he, if he, he can veto it, you know, and he could, for his reason. So, I mean, normally I don't do this because he knows I'm always yelling about him talking or whatever without any means. But I do appreciate, given what this is, and this is a big important task that we do once every 10 years. Uh, do you have an opinion on this, Mr. Executive, that you'd like to share? I mean, this is unusual for me, but I, I'm So curious. just as a, a, as a constitutional matter, the charter gives um, great weight to the preference of council in, in the drawing of council's own districts. And having been a member of county council, I would also, in considering whether to sign or veto uh, an ordinance drawing council districts, that would, that would weigh heavily upon my decision. The, the, uh, so with, with that being said, and, and I haven't had the benefit of actually reviewing these maps, um, but based upon the conversations here tonight, the two maps that I think I could uh, sign would be uh, the current districts as drawn and alternative one. With uh, reserving my right to change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> As we all do, Mr. Executive. <laughs> and we will make sure you get these maps immediately, and I apologize for that very much. Well, so. thank you. It's, it's okay. Thank I, I appreciate it. My that. bad. <laughs> I, I would seriously, I would prefer to have this wrapped up by December 9th. May, may I ask a, uh, one question? May we have these in a PDF form? Um, it's easier to flip through them than when we're looking at them. On the computer. Okay, thank you. Okay, so any other points to discuss or questions or bids on this? I have a comment. Yes, I want to thank uh, the deputy clerk and, and the clerk for putting all the time in um, to this due diligence. It's a lot, I'm sure. It shows there's a lot of work here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yes, I would like to echo that because what we do is the base, which is sort of the flight where they argue. That's how we get through issues. And it should never reflect on our staff who are just doing what we're asking them to do. And I appreciate the work that they have done. In fact, I use that as I was going back and forth trying to figure out if something could be moved. I appreciate you doing all that. The only thing that I think would have been better is, like I said, if we had the technology to have a movable map and, mo and we'll have to talk to Mr. Barron about that in the future. Mm. To have, you know, I think we're there yet with hologram maps. Oh, yeah. We're no, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Tom. After I look, yeah, yeah. 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 done. Next year's we're, IT committee. Yeah. <laughs> we're NCIS. But you know what I mean? It would be easier to see the numbers. But we don't yeah. I'll work on the We're not there yet. Huh? Yeah. Mr. Myers. Mr. Myers has the floor. Mr. Myers has the floor. Mr. Myers has the floor. I would just like to thank the staff for all the work they did on this because it's tedious, it's time consuming, and I appreciate the effort that was there. And I can appreciate just looking at it, and, and I don't know if I could have had the patience that you guys did, but I like I want to thank you for all the work you did. 
Okay. Any? Yeah, I'll second Mr. Myers comment. Everybody wants to keep their turf, but me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My turf's the whole county. I'm good. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> no, but you know, I'm a soccer girl. I would like to represent. So there you go. that we hear some of the people that represent the districts, and unfortunately, they're not all here today. Right. I, so, I agree with you, and that's why I was glad to hear Kevin, Tom, mm -hmm. and, and, and Terry, because honestly, at the end of the day, I, had, I told you what I wanted, what you asked, but I would probably lean heavily towards the consensus of the four of them, because they are the representatives of their districts as they stand. Right. Okay. And again, Mr. Cusick said, do what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Not miss, right? You were my witness. I was here. Yep. I heard you. Which was a rare statement, but he's going to Atlantic City to meet his math friends. So, yeah, yeah. may I adjourn this meeting? Yes. Thank you. Bye. Nobody asked this question. This whole debate that I had. Here's a question for you. I'm with you on this. Does this need to be fixed? Yeah, right.